Day Drifting is the most sought out record in rocket racing. Over 50 players have published their attempts in an effort to claim it, and the record has been beaten more than 30 times so far. Many more players have worked on it behind the scenes, as it is the simplest map in the game, allowing you to practice and improve on the fundamentals. Let's go over a brief showcase of how the world record history for this map has evolved since the game's release. The early world records were pretty simple and were around 1 minute and 35 seconds for the full 3 laps. Avoiding the walls, drifting through the corners and taking solid lines was enough to beat the record at the time. No shortcuts had been found. It appeared to be a simple map for pure drifting. Few days after the game released, people had already improved their skills a lot, and so the first sub 130s were about to happen. The key speedrunner for this map, Zarza, also made his appearance in this time frame. For these runs, the improvements were straightforward. People realized that drifting more while holding a good racing line is a lot faster. Chain drifting became more and more common as a result. They also discovered this cut, skipping this long right-hander completely. But there was more time to be found. Zarza and Silky Extreme kept pushing each other, resulting in the first 125 by Zarza. I then made my appearance, setting the record two times, but Zarza was having none of it. He beat my records and then kept on improving his own record four more times, reaching an astonishing 124.58. Zarza kept the world record for more than a month. That was until Ewers was able to beat him by just 10 milliseconds. The 125s looked something like this. The drift chains were further optimized, basically drifting through the whole track. Turbo was used at optimal positions, such as the cat here to minimize airtime, and lines so good they almost clipped the walls. The track now seemed maxed out, with a clear pattern indicating that the limit might have been reached. But after many hours of experimentation, I realized that is not the case and so the pattern was broken. A 122.49, more than 2 seconds faster. So, how did it happen? The first and most important change was drift stalling during the cut. Drift stalls allow you to keep your drift charge on the air by holding the drift button. This means that after landing, you can release the drift and get your speed back up instantly. Another improvement is jumping over the barriers at turn 1, making the corner tighter than it would be otherwise. The third thing is drift timing. By reducing the downtime in between drifts, you can build more drift charge. And lastly, using this cut at the last corner at lap 3 can shave a few more milliseconds. And so, here is the run itself.